What's up, guys? Just woke up. Still fucking cross-eyed, but go figure. <laughs> I'm going to do a little glandular routine, and then uh, we'll get breakfast ready. So we got three glandulars here from Morgan Supplements. Third eye, male virility, adrenal. So I do about half a scoop of the third eye and male virility, and then a quarter scoop of the adrenal. I put this in my mouth like uh, those kids do when they chase the pre-workouts. It doesn't taste that good, but this is the most effective way to take these because if you, um, if you take them in a capsule, you know, when does the capsule break up in digestion? Are you getting all the, you know, the bioactive hormone benefits? It's a little bit safer to take them in a powder. And I'll just take like a little bit of mastic gum just to get the uh, taste out of my mouth. And let me tell you guys, these work. <laughs> like, uh, I'm looking forward to taking a break from them because I'm going to get some blood work and show you guys that they work so that I can stop, you know, like five times a day. It's bad, bro. It's fucking bad. <laughs> I'll see you guys for breakfast. Breakfast is ready. Same as I've been doing for, I don't know how many months now. Actually, don't feel so hot today because I forgot to bring home some udon noodles yesterday from work. So I skipped dinner. And when I don't eat, I usually don't sleep, which is what ended up happening. So I just laid in bed for like five or six hours. That, that was not fun. So uh, well, that's like the first time that's ever happened. And I was debating, okay, do I drive 15 minutes to work at, like in the middle of the night to get my food or do I just go to bed? And I decided to go to bed, which was the wrong choice because I didn't sleep. Anyway, you guys have seen this meal many times. We got the Iberico pork breakfast sausage. We have the pancakes which are half organic pancake mix and half organic oats that are available on frankdcrangefoods.com these are really tasty delicious i like them uh, fried in coconut oil so a decent amount of fat decent amount of calories i sometimes do the oatmeal but this is a little faster and easier and um the oatmeal it doesn't fill me up as much and i honestly don't really get that hungry for breakfast it's just if i don't eat breakfast and I go on to work for five, six, seven hours. It's just not good. I'll, I start losing weight and not feeling so good if I, you know, go all day without eating. And then we just have our peeled honey crisp apple. Of course, some organic maple syrup to go on the pancakes. So it's just balance of, you know, the basic things you guys have seen me doing on this diet for the past three years, which is an adequate amount of very high quality protein, a balance of carbs and fiber starch and then just some kind of dessert sugars and this combination is what's ideal for liver detox and then the supplements here are what's kind of adjusting and fixing things because if i just had this meal without the supplements it would be difficult if not impossible to recover from the degree of liver damage that i had so what I do pretty much every meal is I take three or four mastic gum capsules. I take two vitamin B1. The mastic gum capsules are to prevent H. pylori, candida, dyspi... H... Guys, I'm so cooked. I didn't sleep last night. My brain is fried. Mastic gum prevents H. pylori, candida overgrowth. And the reason that happens is when you're releasing a lot of toxic bile from the liver, that tends to give fungus the opportunity to overgrow. And then the vitamin B1 is the most important B vitamin for carbohydrate digestion. Uh, you can look up Frank Defano B1, and I have a lot of videos and shorts on how B1 deficiency is very common. Uh, I take molybdenum, which is one of the antagonistic minerals to copper. So, you know, I have some degree of copper toxicity right now, which means that I have to take something every meal to prevent the extra copper from the meal from being absorbed. Then we're going to take some magnesium. 
magnesium is required for the body to transport copper. So you can take all the zinc, all the molybdenum that you want, but if you don't have magnesium, it's not going to fix the copper toxicity. Magnesium is a very, very important element that most people miss in regards to copper toxicity. Uh, this is the new magnesium complex we have on organsupplements.com. I take two of these for breakfast, which is 100 milligrams of magnesium. And then we have the zinc complex, which is also new on organsupplements.com. I take two of these with breakfast, which is 30 milligrams of zinc. And out of, out of all the stuff we're taking, everything is pretty moderately dosed, what you can normally get from a meal, but the zinc is a little higher. So if you guys missed the video last week where I explained the, the new supplements, uh, we just have a combination of different forms of zinc and magnesium in each of the complexes, uh, which are the most bioavailable and best forms for your body. Uh, like yesterday, I took the B-complex in the morning. I'm not taking that today. And I showed you guys we have the uh, multivitamin and multimineral. The mineral I take two or three times a week. The multivitamin I'm not using right now because I don't need vitamin D. Uh, that's really the only reason. So what I'll end up doing is, you know, I have my vitamin K2 here and I have my vitamin C here that I'll take on occasion. But since my vitamin D levels in the blood are very good, I do not need to take the vitamin. And then, so what I'll do is I'll have a few bites of the meal. I'll take the handful of vitamins. And then at the end of the meal, I'll have uh, another teaspoon of mastic powder and I'll have my charcoal capsule. So all of those toxins in the bile kind of get absorbed into the charcoal. And I've been, I've been feeling good on this. Might get back on the water keep for this week. Uh, we ran out of water kefir grains on the website, so uh, I got to get some more, and then I got to start making my own batches here at home again to uh, fix my gut a little more. But yeah, I'm going to get some blood work uh, this week, and uh, and we'll do some more videos on the copper toxicity very soon. I was supposed to get some blood work Monday, but like I haven't been sleeping as I should, and my schedule is off because of all the work I've been doing. So I, I want to have like at least a reasonable night sleep and a, a good day of meals before getting my blood work done. So hopefully one day this week works out and I can get the blood work done in the morning after after a good amount of sleep and then uh, and then we can talk about the copper toxicity as well as some other stuff. But yeah, everything you guys see here is available on frankdashafon.com. So if you want to make the pancakes, we have all that stuff on Frankie's Syringe Foods. We have the Iberico sausage on Frankie's Syringe Meat and all the supplements are on organsupplements.com. I mean, even the maple syrup, guys, we got on uh, on the foods website, and then I'm just washing it down with some glass bottled low mineral water. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I got a lot of stuff to do today. So we'll probably see you guys back at, uh, I don't know, five or six o'clock for my very late lunch. Uh, the only thing I have to do for, for meals is I, I'm just going to put some rice in the rice cooker and... Uh, and make sure that's ready for when I get home so I don't have to wait any longer to eat. All right, guys, it's like 4.30. I'm stuck at work, dude. <laughs> if I didn't have a stroke this week, I'm never going to have a stroke. Let's, let's just leave it at that. Uh, I got, I don't know. I don't think I have more than an hour of work to do today. But um, my lower back is fried and I forgot to put the rice in. So that means by the time I get home at 5.36, if I, and then I put the rice in when I get home, I'm not going to be eating until 7 o'clock. So... Let me show you guys what I'm going to snack on uh, right now here in the warehouse or abandoned grocery store. Better reference. So we're sold out of the biltong, which I usually like. We are getting a new shipment in this week, but for now, we will have some jerky, which is just as delicious and half the price. And I am so sad because we are out of granola bars. What will I do? So we're going to have to have uh, quinoa crisp, and then we'll have maybe two of the Satomi's vegan cookies. So normally when I snack down here, I'll just have some mastic gum because I know I'll be home in like an hour and then I'm just gonna eat something and have the rest of the supplements. But today, since I don't know how long it's gonna take me to eat, it might be another two or three hours before I eat, we're gonna do two B1, one molybdenum, two zinc, one magnesium, and we'll have the mastic gum too with everything. Uh, this is what I have here for now. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I eat anything else. And of course, we have our 
glass bottle of mineral water. Imagine if I was selling drugs instead of making cookies with flour. <laughs> this jerky's flavor is really good, just plain with salt. And it's relatively soft, but it still takes a long time to chew. That's the only reason I eat the biltong more is because I'm sitting here for 15 minutes chewing beef jerky. Quinoa crisp bars. Very good. Phenomenal. I have to try one side by side when we have the granola back in stock next week to see which one I actually like more. All right, we got the cookie bar now. I haven't had these in a while. It's just a plain, minimally inflammatory cookie. No dairy, no eggs. That's, that's the main selling point of these cookies. Not too sweet. Nice and balanced. Quarter pound of jerky, probably a few hundred calories. And the quinoa crisp, 300. And then these are the cookie bars are like 300, 400 too. So I just ate like 1,500 calories. I, I feel kind of stuffed, but it doesn't hit you for a little bit because all of those are like non-perishable dried foods. So after you like drink some water and stuff, then you'll be really, really full. Probably more calories than I would have eaten in a meal. But uh, I'm just going to finish up some work and um, I'll see you guys when I have my dinner ready. Guys, I'm killing myself every day doing this. Like, please just support me in whatever way you can before I completely lose my mind. But uh, I'll try not to complain too much. I'll just say that me doing this day of eating with everything else going on in my business, everything, it's not easy to say the least, but I made it this far, right? So here we got a big old ribeye steak. This is the bone and ribeye that comes with the fresh beef share that we got in this week. I actually just trimmed, there's very little bone on it. There's like a few small pieces of bone that I just trimmed off before I put it in the pan so I can get an even sear. Just a lot of salt on that. More more protein than I usually have, but I don't think I'm gonna eat all of it. We got a big plate of organic white rice that has been cooked with mineral water. A little bit of salt and coconut oil in there for flavor. I don't feel like eating beans, guys. It's it's I, I probably should for my gut motility and stuff, but I just I just don't really like them that much. We have our honey crisp apple. And here we have, I showed you guys this in a video on a day of eating a few months ago. Aceto balsamico traditionale di Modena DOP. This is the famous 25 year age balsamic vinegar, very expensive. I'm showing you guys again, just to ask if you guys want me to get this for you. Uh, I have to pay over a hundred dollars for it. So uh, I don't, I probably try, I try to sell it to you guys for as, as affordably as I can. Uh, having having some type of profit margin on it. So I'm guessing people would want the 25 year, the most expensive one. Um, you know, there is another brand that makes a comparable product. That's not, it's not legitimate because they add sugar and stuff to it. Uh, this is the natural sugar, but that one's a lot more affordable. So maybe we can get that one, but I like putting this on uh, any, anytime I have steak, I use this every time. So I'll just put a little bit of that on and then I will have to wipe off about a dollar worth <laughs> of the lid every time I use it. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's really cool. You know, it, it comes in this box. I like keeping stuff like this. Reminds me of scotch, uh, whiskey, Aceto Balsamico Traditionality di Mondana DOP. Really cool stuff. So uh, I think I asked last time, but if you guys are interested in this, I, I will get it uh, for real next time I order from that distributor. But a lot of protein, amino acids, B vitamins, cellular health, saturated fat, cholesterol. That's why we're eating steak. White rice, starch, carbohydrates, feed the gut bacteria, give my body energy. Uh, we should We should have some beans in here. Uh, we don't, but then we just have the honey crisp apple and, and something I didn't say earlier with breakfast is your body can only digest a certain amount of each type of nutrient. So, I mean, yeah, so you want to have a fat, carb, and protein, a certain amount for each meal, but breaking down the carbs more, you know, your body can only take in so much starch, which is separate from, you know, the soluble and insoluble fiber tolerance, which is separate from the sugar tolerance, you know, so that there's a lot of different factors to consider in the meal. It's better to have a bit of rice, a bit of beans, and a bit of apple than just a whole ton of, of one of them. Anyway, we're gonna have the same supplements for our 
lunch, which is technically, it's freaking, like, is it really eight o'clock, dude? I'm gonna die. My lower back is cooked. I gotta drive six hours tomorrow. Oh. So we got three mastic gum. We're gonna take three vitamin B1 because rice is a little lower in B1 than the wheat. Okay, so we're gonna have a molybdenum again. We're gonna have our one, magne one magnesium capsule, not two. And then two zinc capsules. Actually, I don't usually have that snack in the middle of the day. And I did take a lot of zinc so far. So I'm actually just going to do one zinc capsule. But normally for lunch, I would do three mastic, two B1, one molybdenum, 100 to 150 milligrams of magnesium, and then 30 milligrams of zinc. Uh, the reason I'm having rice instead of bread is because uh, my schedule has been so fried that like, I try making bread the last two, three days, and it just turned out so bad each time, I didn't even want to eat it. Uh, I got You got to get the fermentation right. You got to make sure the yeast breaks down the flour. Even using the instant yeast, you still need to time it somewhat, which I was unable to do successfully. Because I would I'd take it out of the fridge to let it rise, and I'd be stuck at work for seven hours, and then I'll come home and the bread's ruined. So the rice is what I've been doing the past few days. It's okay. Uh, so I'll take a few bites of steak, a few bites of rice, swallow my pills, finish the rest of my meal, have the apple, and then I'll have some of the powdered mastic gum with the charcoal. And, uh, you know, I, I don't say it enough, guys, but, you know, with the severity of the liver damage I've had, that's that's the way I've been able to figure all this stuff out. And, and without the supplements and all these little things that I do, it would, be, it would have basically been impossible for me to fix my health. I think I said it earlier, we're going to get back on the water key for bandwagon soon. Um, but... Uh, it just, uh, it's a little, it's a little hard on the liver with the copper toxicity. Um, because if I'm, if I'm taking high dose zinc, high dose magnesium, and there's a lot of circulating copper, even just the, the you know, small amount of alcohol and, and everything in the water kefir, I, problem is I overdo it. Like I could eat the, I should really just eat the grains, which we ran out of, but, uh, we will get back on that hopefully in a week or two. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to try to relax and eat, and then uh, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Uh, we'll have some noodles. I feel like I'm in slow motion, dude. I, I, I don't really want to eat because that snack filled me up, but um, I do get like, sometimes I get like a little tension from the chocolate. Forgot to touch on the fresh beef share a little more. Uh, all the details are on the meat website, guys. You can buy fresh local ground beef by the pound. Or you can get a share, which has two pounds of ground beef and one ribeye and one porterhouse steak. Great price, fresh, delivered to your door. Uh, I mean, if you guys don't buy the beef and lamb shares, we're just going to have to put it in the freezer and sell it as a regular meat share over the next few weeks. Yeah, you, know, you guys have some fresh beef from time to time, but if you guys don't buy it all, then I'm in a, a tight spot. So it's probably been a net negative so far. But anyway, that should be available for the rest of the week. And uh, I'll see you guys for dinner. If I can get out of my chair. Oh, yo, the steak is so good. I had to show you guys. Phenomenal. Best tasting steak I've had in a while. This is really good. I'm probably going to crush this whole thing. I'm basically back to carnivore. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a little after midnight. <laughs> I'm getting back on a reasonable schedule. But dude, before I was getting home at like six o'clock, eating something, taking a nap at nine to like one, and then I'd wake up from like one to five. My, at least today I stayed up and didn't take a nap, so it's gonna be somewhat normal. Uh, this is the same dinner that you guys have seen for probably a year maybe even two years now, the udon noodles that we have on Frankie's Strange Foods with just a small amount of Iberical pork, our white bean puree is the pasta sauce, and plenty of the collagen broth or beef stock concentrate in there as well for even more amino acids and vitamins, mainly mainly amino acids and protein, not, not really vitamins actually. Uh, so for dinner, the supplement routine is going to look pretty much the same. We're gonna have a few mastic gum capsules. We're gonna have two vitamin B1. Again, 
mastic for candida H. pylori to keep the gut in check. B1 is needed for carbohydrate digestion. We have a lot of starch here. Molybdenum is copper antagonist. Magnesium is needed to transport the copper. So just, just one magnesium pill, uh, 50, 50 milligrams magnesium. Our molybdenum dose on organ supplements is 100 micrograms. All other supplements are way too high to, to have every meal. Uh, and the zinc, 15 milligrams. So if you're not taking molybdenum, magnesium, and zinc with every meal when you have copper toxicity, you're going to be absorbing a lot of the copper that's in the food, which is is not great. So so the benefit of having it every meal is you're antagonizing the copper from being absorbed, and you're also giving your body the minerals it needs to pull out the excess copper. So uh, th that's my understanding of it. So this is kind of nice because it's just like a big bowl. It's approachable. I like it. I always feel good eating it. And then we have our, our honey crisp apple. And as usual, we're going to do a little bit of mastic after the meal and one activated charcoal capsule because all, all the toxins in the bile that's coming out of the liver will bind to the charcoal. I showed you that, that steak earlier. That was really good. That was really delicious. I hope you, I hope you guys enjoy that beef show. It was very, very tasty. I'm thinking because I'm looking at my my balsamic here. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, I guess that's everything. So I'll take my pills. I usually drop one. Well, there's two on the floor and I drop one. So <laughs> I guess we should have picked the one up from the previous meal instead of leaving it on the floor. All right, guys, so let me wrap this up before my noodles get too soggy. So if you go to frank you'll see all of my interesting and unique health-based businesses, Frankie Syringe Meat, Frankie Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, where you guys can get pretty much everything you saw in this video. And then on uh, Wi-Fi Shielding, I'm always wearing my Wi-Fi Shielding Protective Clothing and Frankie's Naturals. Uh, just hygiene and cosmetic products on there. Whether you guys want deodorant, tooth powder, the K2's in there, it's great. Uh, you guys can check everything out, see if you're interested in anything. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it. So if you guys want to see more Dave Eatings, be sure to like the video, leave a comment down below, share it, and um, we'll see you guys for the next video. Maybe I won't be cross-eyed anymore.